Another acceleration here. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 GMC Canyon Denali. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to National GMC here in American Fork for giving me some time with this GMC Canyon. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. So under the hood of the Canyon Denali, we have a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 17 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs being 308 horsepower and then 275 pound feet of torque. Let's go to the front end of the Canyon Denali. So first and foremost, you guys can see that you've got the signature GM hood where you kind of have like the bulge here in the center and then it kind of like divots down before it raises here on the side, which is definitely a cool look. And then we do have these full halogen bulbs and then they do have LED accent lights that go around them fog lights just down below and then you've got the gigantic GMC chrome grill with the GMC logo there in the center and then coming down below this does come with an air dam just to help out with fuel economy on the highway and then other than that there is your full front end on the canyon coming on the side here we've got two 55 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well as for the design on the wheels here on the Denali I think they look absolutely fantastic it kind of looks like a uh, flower like a clover actually it looks like a clover a five leaf clover not a four leaf sadly um, but still really good looking wheel and then other than that you do get the little denali logo here on the side with side steps notice that the mirrors are also finished in chrome as well as the door handles to kind of bring everything together but other than that there is your full side view on the canyon Now let's go over the bed of the canyon. So first off, we do have a liner from the factory, which is definitely a nice touch. You can see just really high quality stuff. Payload capacity with this truck is about 1,373 pounds. You've got the Denali logo there on the back of the bed. But I mean, other than that, there's the bed. It's pretty much a regular bed for a mid-sized truck. Let's go over the rest of the rear of the canyon Denali. So first off, you guys can see that you've got the standard taillights here that are in C-shape, just like they have on most of GM's lineup. And then you get your giant badges here in the back with little Canyon badge down below. Parking sensors here on the rear. And then just like the bigger GM trucks, you do get a little bumper step right here. So it makes accessing the bed a whole lot easier. Towing capacity is about 7,000 pounds. And that's the rear end of the Canyon. Now let's go over the rear door panel here in the Canyon. So first off, I love the stitching design they've done here on the rear door panel. And then you've just got your regular stitching and soft touch. You're actually gonna rest your arm. And then they do this kind of like cool metallic gray trim around the window control. And then I have the seat up so you guys can see that you do get the under seat storage. And then you do have to use two hands to raise the seat because you have to pull this lever. But then to lower the seat, you just have to press the lever again and then the seat will pop right down. And then we do have really nice leather back here with all of the stitching all throughout the seat itself. Perforations there in the center portion. But let's actually pop in. So stepping in, got to kind of squeeze back here a little bit. If I sit all the way up, I'm 5'11". I actually have a decent amount of headroom. Legroom, on the other hand, is a little bit more on the cramp side. And yes, we're wearing shorts, even though it's 40 degrees outside. Got a couple USBs here, and then we do have a 12 volt, and then some extra storage down below. And then finishing things off, we've got some cup holders right here. And other than that, that's the back of the canyon. Let's go over the door panel here at the front of the canyon. So first off, you've got that same cool design that you had in the rear with all of the stitching and the soft touch leather. And then we do have the dark metallic gray trim here with the wood trim down below, just to top things off. Again, all of your regular window controls, your mirror controls in the normal area. And then you got the Denali plaque right here. And then we do have the seats at the front. So they say Denali at the top. They got nice stitching all throughout with the perforations here in the center portion. They are manually and power adjustable. So you've got power adjustments for part of it, but then you have the manual adjustment for the other part of the seat. And then the pedal layout is just there at the bottom. And then we've got our light controls right over here with our driveline select right next to it. So for the driveline select, there's a few different modes. You can see that there's a two wheel high, there's an auto, a four wheel high, and then a four wheel low. The trailer brake control are also integrated on the side the steering wheel is manually adjustable and then notice nice stitching around but there's one more look before we actually pop in slowly 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 Houston I repeat the docking seizure has been completed Here's the steering wheel in the Canyon. So they have really nice leather that's wrapped around the whole steering wheel with the contrasted stitching there in the center portion of the steering wheel. And then we've got all of our controls here for the center stack, your voice command, phone controls. On the other side, you've got your heated steering wheel button and then your collision assistance with your cruise control. Radio controls are on the back of the steering wheel in the form of rocker panels. And then behind, we do have our stock there for the turn signal. And then we've got our windshield wiper stock on the other side. 
and that's the steering wheel in the Denali. So here for the center, they mix analog gauges with a little bit of screen action, which is pretty neat. As for that center screen, it just shows you different bits of information. So you've got your little home page right here, which shows you like the speedometer, and you can go for the information page. You got your music, your navigation, your phone, and then the settings itself. So pretty simple setup and I think it looks good, especially again with the blue. Pop into the infotainment system, we'll pop the truck into reverse. We do get a backup camera. Resolution's really good, sorry about the glare. Um, but we do have trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you've got like the trailer tow mode, which is just a straight line, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, really good backup camera. As for the rest of the infotainment system, as it loads up, Response time when you actually touch the screen is really good. I mean, you guys can see pretty much instantaneous, even though there's plastic wrapping. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are also options with this. You can control the climate controls, all the stuff. You get the My GMC. Um, but you guys know I really like this infotainment system. I think it looks good and it responds really well. And then we do have analog controls just down below for the radio and then shortcut buttons like your little homepage button. This is kind of like the whole climate section for the Canyon. So first off, we do have the climate controls. It is a single zone climate. And then down below, we got a button here for the parking sensors. This is your lane departure assistance. This is for the little cargo light in the back. This is for the hazard lights, your stability control. And then this is the trailer tow mode, which is pretty nice. And then notice the stitching in between the two sections. Heated and cooled seats are another option here in the Canyon, which is nice. And that's that whole area. So we've got a little charging area here with a 12 volt and then some USBs and then some extra storage space there in the front. And then here's the shifter for the eight speed automatic. You do have a manual shift function and a low range, which I mean, what else could you expect from a truck? Couple cup holders and a wireless phone charger, which is nicely placed. And they kind of put this little lip here so it holds in your phone. And then coming up here at the center console, you've got nice leather with stitching, decent amount of storage space within. And then you can see the stitching continues all along the dash and then opening up the glove box. Again, more storage space, but that's all for that. Now up top here, we do have a sunglass holder that's pretty normal, nothing crazy happening with that. And then as for the rear window, so it is a manual window. You can open it, but you do have to open it with your hands. There's no control for it or anything like that. And that's all for the top section. Now that we're done going over the interior on this Canyon, let's quickly get into the pricing. So in terms of pricing, this Canyon Denali stickers for about $46,000 for any type of market adjustment. That all being said, let's take her out and see how she drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off here on this Canyon Denali. So first off, visibility over the hood is unchanged to any other Canyon. Um, as for a truck, it's really easy from a visibility standpoint because it's a little bit shorter of a hood. And then here's your visibility through both the mirrors. They do have little convex mirrors on the, well, I should say convex mirror on that one. Uh, the other one's just a regular mirror. And then coming here to the rear, visibility is just really good. You are a little bit lower to the ground. So it definitely makes this feel a little bit different for a truck, but let's set off. Well, as you can see, we are setting off here in the GMC Canyon Denali. And if you guys remember earlier this year, I reviewed the GMC Canyon AT4. Uh, that was like the off-road variant, whereas this one is kind of more like the luxury variant. And that's a huge differentiating factor between this and the uh, Chevy Colorado because the Chevy Colorado has a crazier off-roading variant, the ZR2. And then if you get like the ZR2 Bison, um, whereas they don't really have like a true luxury variant. Um, they've got like nicer interior packages, but not like a true luxury variant. Whereas this one does have this uh, Denali, which is a true luxury variant. So it does differentiate it a little bit um, from Chevy. But initially setting off, it definitely has that smaller truck feel, which a lot of people want that because they want a truck that's, you know, pretty capable, 1300 pound uh, payload capacity and then 7,000 pound towing capacity. It's a very, very capable truck. And a lot of people just want that, but they don't want to have something that gets two miles per gallon and is absolutely massive. And that's kind of where this truck really shines um, is from the performance that it has from a towing capability perspective, uh, but then also the performance it has from a fuel economy perspective where it gets really good fuel economy. So you kind of get the best of both. Now actually on the road itself, it's very smooth and it definitely, I mean, it does like the luxury truck stuff. We'll get a minor acceleration here. 
So that eight speed automatic transmission is relatively quick to respond. We'll get another acceleration up here. Um, and you guys heard the power figures, about 300 horsepower. It's right where it needs to be in the segment. Every single midsize truck is right around 300 horsepower. Tacoma, Gladiator, all, all of them are about the same. We'll get another acceleration here. Yeah, it. I mean, it feels about the same as all the other trucks because they're all about the same power perspective wise. Uh, now as for this eight speed automatic, it's not as good as GM's 10 speed automatic, but it's still a really good transmission from a gear shift perspective. It's very smooth. It's just not as quick uh, to shift as the 10 speed automatic. And that'll get me into summing things up with this GMC Canyon. So where does this truck really stand? So what this truck is, is you don't want, again, a massive truck, but you still want something that's very capable. This fits that bill and then also you want something that's a little bit more luxury you're not going to take it off road you're just going to daily drive it and that's where the canyon denali really shines if you want a smaller size truck but then you want a luxury smaller size truck because there's not a lot um most manufacturers don't really make luxury small size trucks they just kind of make them all like base and so then that's kind of where the canyon differentiates itself is it has that luxury side to it that is going to sum things up for our video on this 2021 GMC Canyon Denali. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to National GMC here in American Fork for giving me some time with this Canyon. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.